Hello YouTubers, welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. This is the S8 Plus. We're gonna do a review to the application of the phone. If you want to see the full full review and the unboxing, we published last week the, the new video, the entire video. So now the front button is missing. You have these virtual buttons, but this middle button uh, feedback offers feedback and it still exists under the display and this will be hidden once you play a game or watch a video. Now drag uh, in the top side to view the application. I dim the light guys just to, for you to see everything uh, white. A secure folder is a new feature for uh, protecting your data and uh, you can secure and uh, buy a password and you can crypt uh, these files using the secure folder. Uh, the next new things that you will see is the uh, Bixby button that will uh, open up the Bixby application or uh, feature of this S8 new phone. But personally, I don't like it. It's like a news briefing with uh, advanced features like showing you the my schedule and upcoming reminders <clears throat> it's some kind of briefing of your phone shown in a single page um, it's too bad that this uh, dedicated button this fourth button it's not you can configure it to some other application so this bixby has a some kind of nice feature you will see in the full review that i didn't manage to get uh, with this bixby vision some kind of relevant search uh, for example i uh, photographed a s8 package and it didn't find me relevant results so i think this application is still in development for you guys who didn't saw the new android 7.0 you have uh, the new things you have the wi-fi calling and the performance mode which you can increase the consumption of the battery in high performance or you can customize it and lower uh, the screen resolution to full HD plus or uh, the WQ HD the almost almost I said 4k um, user expected to for this phone having the 4k display but I gotta tell you guys you won't need it that uh, WQ HD it's uh, quite quite enough if you don't know what this function blue light filter is for the night for reading for example you can uh, switch it and uh, this blue light filter will help you read or watch videos without bothering your eyes another feature for example i uh, i have to restart the phone to show you i've been using it before for example i'm not pleased with this function because it uh, warns me by a message that intensive uh, is not recommended to use so let's make a restart of the phone and I want to show you in what seconds the phone will start. So we start the clock and uh, I gotta tell you this Android starts the best uh, compared to the S7 Edge or S6 or you want what you want to call it because it's the greatest phone operating system. Sorry in 16 seconds I left it a second more and uh, now you got to unblock it first with the code. Next you will use the face detection. So the Android starts very rapidly. I didn't manage to install uh, more than two or three applications on the phone. So it's uh, fresh. You can make a relevant opinion. In uh, S7 Edge you have the auto button for example to automatically adjust the light and uh, now I can't know I can know to adjust it myself but if you are uh, pushing that button you have the auto brightness right here next the blue filter light you if you are uh, a beginner in 7.0 Android the blue light filter lets you play the games or watch movies at the night and adjust for example let's hold adjust the temperature color 
the color temp temperature of the screen and you can start it as schedule you can schedule to start at the hour uh, for example in the night next guys in connections you can um, tether your uh, data connections by bluetooth by usb and you can make mobile hotspot nothing else uh, have uh, changed here in s8 and uh, at the sound and vibrations uh, the speaker of this phone it's with three decibels lower than l7 h this is a detail i noticed um, of course without my ear in the specification reading the notifications you can choose what application to notify you on uh, for example on uh, the lock screen or not the display has the blue light the same uh the same icons icon frames for example is that the background that i talking uh, i was talking about um you can choose the edge screen for uh, always lightning for example when you receive a notification or you can uh, choose the edge panels the weather for example uh, and you can personalize this edge by putting the application for example uh, i don't know you want to phone here the no limits from uh, need for speed and you will have it in your applications edge and you can personalize this edge the people select the favorites for example you can put favorites people smart select this rectangle you can capture a portions or, or a, a small part of your screen if for example here you can make with uh, the middle button and the power key a screen capture i'm not pushing that quite okay uh, i made a screen capture in the edge screen you can make it you can make the screen capture with the minus button and the power button so now you if you heard the sound the screen is captured another interesting thing this always uh, lightning when you receive a notification it will show you uh, lightning the portions of uh, the screen is quite quite nice as long as the the phone it's upside down it will show the notification around in uh, at night it's a great uh, thing a new feature we have a video enhancer um, in the display we have it here but it's in advanced feature uh, we have there the always on display and i want to go now in the always on display it's a little bit it's a little bit different you can uh, put uh, the home button or the clock information and you can choose wherever you want to show the relevant the calls or the missed called or the missed messages or you can put the age clock on this side it's quite interesting but you saw this before and on uh, s7 edge you can set up here to schedule this between for example to start at 7 am and uh, at uh, 9 p.m for example to shut down you can put your calendar even on the always on display or or uh, image you um, you can choose wherever you like what i'm not seeing in this always on display for example in s7 edge i can put this uh, uh, all kinds of uh, backgrounds and here if i select image it's only in this uh, square uh, pattern drag with two fingers and if you want to uh, conserve your battery turn off those functions i'm talking about for beginners the location uses a lot of power from your battery so turn it off because you are not uh gonna use it the nfc the the sy synchronization turn it off turn off your bluetooth or other features that you are not using them i want to show you for the battery life conservation for example i had this on um, and i want to show you 
uh, the fingerprint sensor you can turn the pages uh, holding uh, the, the phone in your hand and uh, swiping up and down uh, the fingerprint sensor can browse your pages up and down with these gestures uh, other things that you will be interesting is in smart alert and the smart stay the smart stay you will see for beginners you it will read your eyes and the screen will not turn off um, the smart capture you will not need it palm swipe or direct call the smart capture i showed you before how to capture the screen using the shortcuts key power key and volume down key the direct call it's putting your phone at your ear where when you are in a contact typing a text message and uh, it automatically uses sensor activates a sensor while you're in a contact and uh, wh when you are putting your phone at your ear it will automatically call that person so you will not need it it's that hard to push the call button when you are in text messages because this function will use a lot uh, not th that uh, much battery but it will use some some battery it's not uh, that uh, like you're in uh, easy mute you're calling and that call activates your sensor it's a couple of seconds using that seconds instead minutes of uh, direct uh, call feature uh, turn the direct show, uh, share on the video enchancer, it enchants your uh, uh, video. This function uses small energy, but um, if you add uh, all this function, you will get and disable it, you will gain some battery life more that you that you expect in application you can set the permissions you can set what what application to notify you for example in the lock screen uh, for uh, biometric uh, turn on with the face recognition he put a uh, phone with its face and bypassed the face recognition I think this uh, that feature is not possible I made uh, tens of hundreds of tests with uh, the phone uh, I put my face on the glossy photo paper and I didn't manage to unblock the phone now you can't uh, face uh, bypass the face recognition Recognition. Um, guys don't believe everything there is on YouTube not not everything in biometrics for example if you want a high security you can put fingerprints plus face recognition plus iris scanner and you can be a hundred percent sure that no one will unlock your phone this is the new feature of s8 plus and s8 normal um, as we talk to the battery and battery conservation, I'm uh, not thrilled with this battery hold on or uh, lasting exactly like uh, or or 1% more than uh, S7 Edge. Uh, come on guys, come on Samsung, uh, you take double the money for which uh, S7 Edge costs and you put us a battery of 3500 amps, it doesn't work worth the money for this it's a new model the samsung must give uh, i expected a 4000 milliamps uh, at least at least i'm telling you um with this money it got to and with this big screen you got to have a big battery to support it okay it supports because it's good optimized and uh, i don't know the battery uh, and the, the entire android system supports it but but, uh, you know, with the evolution, the, the evolution of the battery, it's not on uh, our expectations. We want bigger batteries, you know, we want bigger functions. But as I said in other reviews, the market is, is uh, almost, almost saturated because the producer will not know what to do with next with the phones. Fama Mobile, you can locate your mobile. Uh, send less location for example you this is a uh, if you mobile was stolen and you have uh, the luck the fifth uh, did not close the the phone you can trace your phone with find my mobile with uh, the help of your of your samsung account so guys uh, the bixby the bixby is this dedicated button here it's uh, some kind of uh, short briefing of your phone you have the schedule you have the reminders and you have uh, some kind of new stand all here i'm not saying it's an unuseful 
feature but for me is not that interesting and I made uh, with uh, this Bixby for example in the camera I have put it uh, see our previous review. We have put uh, the package of, of uh, the S8. We have uh, put uh, the Bixby Vision and it didn't show any relevant uh, information over the internet over, uh, on S8 Plus. So uh, maybe because it's uh, Samsung Bixby is nearly released and it uh, got to develop this uh, artificial intelligence. I have a sign here that is called Bixby Vision. So for example, I have put at my uh, original packing and I want to receive information. I don't know what S8 Plus means. I'm taking a picture and I want to the Bixby to show me relevant content about this picture. And <laughs> I think it's still in development. It didn't uh, tell me relevant content. Guys, I want to show you some uh, cool features on the camera and the camera is a delicate subject. Uh, it has this, I don't know, uh, over layers that will do something when you, <laughs> you see when uh, you talk uh, or when you move your eyes. It's quite fun for, uh, for example, for your kids. In other features, the camera is the same as S7 Edge, the back camera. I'm talking about the hardware, of course. What uh, attract my attention that the front camera is smaller at size and it has, this camera has 8 megapixel and this one has uh, 5 megapixel com in comparison. It also has uh, the video stabilization that is great in uh, S7 and S8. Um, it has all kinds of uh, new features because the firmware and the software uh, of uh, uh, this S8 is well developed as and are new features compared to S7 Edge. In my opinion, it doesn't worth buying it, but uh, for the same battery from the same rear camera because the rear camera is interesting for um, I don't know I it's super AMOLED displays both of them only for the this this long display is doesn't worth it especially if you uh, and you know you'll have problems with the video playback or the game playing you need you will have those two black lines on the left and on the right sides of uh, the screen so if you think uh, it's uh, worth buying and paying double of money that you will get s7 edge by yourself the s8 plus the s8 plus it's uh, don't get me wrong i'm a samsung fan i like this phone it's a great phone it has a bigger resolution but not that far by uh, compared to S7 Edge and if you think it's worth the money and you don't know what to do with the, the money give the money to us guys or uh, buy yourself the S8 as we said in the previous review buy yourself the S8 Plus if you are upgrading from Note to Note 3 even Note 4 uh, it doesn't worth it but upgrading from S6 or S7 Edge. You S6 you will sense some differences but to S7 Edge you will sense smaller differences. If you think this uh, video is helpful please thumbs up for us and support us on our channel guys. We are Dai Technology Reviews. You got to love technology because technology will make us smarter and quicker and rapid and will take our money sometimes. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye.